Last summer, I began looking at the moths around our house. I simply began leaving these lights on outside of our house here at night. Um, we have a light out in front of the main door and then a couple lights over the garage and then a light out the back door. I just thought tonight I'd review a bit of that effort I've been doing over the last couple summers now. I've been out now for about a month this year doing it and it's just amazing to me the the types and numbers of species of moths that you can get. I think I've had at least, I haven't counted them, but there must be a couple hundred species I've seen here. Um, anything from tiny little moths, an eighth of an inch long, to large ones four or five inches across. So, and the design and pattern of the wings are quite amazing. So, so here's a look at our front door, just a single light chandelier hanging over the door and this attracts quite a few moths in this zone it's just after nine o'clock on may 31st and there's already a moth here showing up it's not even fully dark out yet and i'll have to see what this is i'll include some photos as well with this video just to show some of the types i've been seeing if we walk over this way, I'll just show my other set of lights that I've been looking at moths with. This, so these are the two lamps over our garage. And they're a combination of LED lamps. And uh, <clears throat> well, these are both LEDs, but I have a spiral fluorescent at the back. When you're trying to attract moths, it's actually a good thing to have a variety of light wavelengths. Here's our back door light. Now this is a little spiral fluorescent lamp. As you can see, maybe in the lantern here, I'm not sure if that shows up quite like that. It's probably too overexposed. But be being a different kind of lamp, it has a different wavelength and can attract different moths. Here's a moth that showed up last night, which was pretty neat, and it's been sitting here all day. It's a lettered sphinx moth. So basically, what I've been doing is putting the lights on just as it gets dark, as it is now. And then I usually pop out here at about... Uh, well, 9.30 or 10 o'clock, and then once again at 11 o'clock or so, and I have my cell phone, and I take cell phone pictures of these moths. And then I upload them to iNaturalist, which is a, an app that is used by naturalists all around the world to... Uh, upload their photos of species they've seen in the wild, everything from plants to insects to mammals, birds, fish, what have you, any living thing, you can upload it to iNaturalist and, and it can actually make a very good attempt at identifying the species as long as you provide good photos of it. Here's a little tree frog that's just coming out by the light, living under the uh, siding of our house. So all kinds of things you can see at night out here. So that's the thing I've been doing, coming out around a couple times in the evening. Now, dedicated mothers will probably come out all through the night, <clears throat> or some of them actually collect the moths in traps, live traps, with lights inside the traps to attract them in, and then they would come out and observe them in the morning or whatever, and I haven't gotten to that level of uh, sophistication yet, and I don't know if I ever will. I just enjoy coming out and seeing what are at the lights here, and I might bring out or get some other types of lights to put up on a few other locations here on the property, but uh, black lights or the ultraviolet lights are another light that attracts moths well, and I might try to get a black light to improve my chances of getting different moths due to the different wavelengths of light. 
Well, it's 20 to 10, and it's uh, May 31st, last day of May, unfortunately. And I'm just going to head out for my first moth check. The lights have been on for about an hour now, and we'll see what we can see. So as you can see, it's quite dark out now. The glow of the lights around the garage is quite obvious. Here's a little moth. Oh, here's a little uh, yellow slant line moth. Several moths showing up around the light. Here we have what looks like a Dobson fly, so you do get things other than moths as well. Here's our backlight again. Looks like we've got a caddis fly of some sort here. Little spring moth. Just forgotten the name of this one. I'll put it in here in words. Nice green, mottled green moth with some black checks in the wing. And then to the right of that, a little pug moth with the wings out. Nice little emerald. I'll identify it more accurately and put the name in. So already you can see we're getting activity just having had the lights on for an hour. You can see the temperature here is about 15 centigrade, which is good. I've noticed that the best nights for moths seem to be up above 10 degrees centigrade. You can get some down as low as five some nights early in the spring and later in the spring when the nights are cold but um, certainly once it gets over 10 the activity seems to get a lot better from what I've seen. Now what I often need to do is uh, bring the ladder out to set under the uh, main light at the front door mainly because the light is high and the roof above it is quite high and quite often the moths are up higher where I can't really see them such as this one hanging on the side of the light tonight you can see this one here hanging on to the side of the light so what I need to do is just get a good picture of it and to do that I need the ladder and it's been very helpful uh, so far this spring well Time to go out for the 11 o'clock moth check now. I'm almost half asleep, but I've been watching science fiction movies <laughs> to stay up. Here we are. Here's the time check. Check it out. 11 o'clock now. Just heading out the door. Lots of moths out here now. Mostly little guys. Look at them all here. Up against the wall and the light. Starting to get quite busy now at this time of the year. Front lights getting pretty active. See all the moths up on the ceiling here above the light here's a curved tooth geometer moth they're quite large approximately two inch wing spread down here we have a brown bordered Geometer, I think it's called.
backlight is pretty active. I'll have to look up some of these moths again. I think this is a oh pale impanina moth or something. But of most interest here, above this um, gray moth with the outspread wings, there's this moth here, which I believe is a sphinx moth of some sort. I'm just not sure which one. So I've taken a close-up picture of it, and we'll have to identify it. As best as possible oh and then there's this little guy here that I haven't seen before I think it's a type of uh, dart maybe I'm not sure I'll have to look that one up too leopard seems to come to mind it might be a leopard something but I'll have to check that out anyhow that's my mothing for tonight finishing at about 11 15 I'll take some pictures here and include these with the video and you can see here it's possibly yes I think you can still see this it's now about 13 degrees there's a little bit of a breeze out not too much of a breeze though otherwise a good night for mothing <laughs>